This is the greatest challenge ever. I couldn't be more excited. Junkyards are like my favorite place on earth. Hello, Clarice. I want to see the lands. <laughs> if you ever want to know what it's like inside my head, it's like the junkyard. There's concrete chaos. So I just felt incredibly at home. All right, so we've lost Ross. <laughs> Good morning, celebrities. Oh! Oh. What on earth? Lord Sugar here. Oh. oh. Of course, Lord Sugar is not at the junkyard. So we've got to make a minimum of 10 upcycled items. So let's just go for the minimum. So when we mutually agreed by the girls telling me that I'm not project manager, uh, I was I was a bit gutted. If we could get loads of garden gnomes, we spray them gold, we could knock them out of the park. It's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. We're really looking for the diamond in the rough. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to carry that. But Ross is a little bit like wrangling a cat. <laughs> Ross is already coming up with pretty crazy ideas and he's on a completely different chapter and maybe book to us. This is going to be a treat, look. See this thing? This. This is worth nothing, right? Yep. The hamster palace, right? We we'll turn this into a bespoke hamster thing. Yeah. We start sanding all off. We have runways where they can go up there. All we have to do is fill it full of sawdust. Somebody has that in their house. It's like a full palace, right? Yeah, totally. And sometimes it's a little like you're in the Monty Python skit. Oh, oh my God. Am I lifting correctly? Yes, yes. Brace your abdominals, my friend. Brace your abdominals. Oh, my pants have come. Oh, oh God. I need a large bag of sawdust, a hamster feeding bottle, dish toys, and a little wheel. The hamster stuff, I... You don't... You're against the hamster stuff? I'm not against it. I just don't know what the appraiser is going to say about the value of it. Do you want to pull the hamster thing? We might. Well, let's put the let's put the hamster thing at the end. I think that's our star. Yeah. Obviously, again, no one's listening, so I felt very frustrated. Partly because I just think the hamster hotel is the greatest idea I've ever come up with. But also, I think the Veronicas they're communicating telepathically with each other. And I think to make things fair, one of them should be forced to wear a tinfoil hat. Just to interrupt the signals, you know? Whoa! We are pushing it for time. Oh, shit. Russ is here. Ross finally storms in, hands full of hamster wheels and toys and, and sawdust. sawdust. Oh, my God. Do you have a hamster? Oh, shit. And I've reached breaking point with the hamster hotel. There's not even hamsters in this country. Where do we want it? Do you want it on there? No. Don't... Yeah, up on that table. Yeah, that's where it's, it's going. It's too far back. People won't see it back there. Uh, are you kidding? It's canary yellow. How are they not going to see it? We, we need, need it gone. Move it. Move it. What do you mean you need it gone? No. We need to move it. Move the dream. Move it somewhere right else. There, right? We need to put some high vintage items here at the front while the appraisal's happening. Let's just put it on the floor here. The appraisers are on their way, and the hamster hotel's getting moved further and further back. And, and also, one of our sort of high art pieces is this uh, hamster hotel over here. Ah, oh, it's a classic. Are you you already wow, liking wow. the hamster hotel? Well, basically, what it is, it's a it's a 1950s bookcase, and uh, I've sort of I've reimagined as a hotel, but for hamsters. One of our proudest pieces. One of the fellas he looks at the hamster hotel. <laughs> the Veronica's good. That's one of our favourite pieces. <laughs> so that's... You've recycled well. I think you've kicked a goal. I think it's phenomenal. Oh, thank you. I think it's the most glorious moment of my entire life. I like your house. <laughs> Welcome back to the Celebrity Apprentice Charity Market, where it is absolutely bucketing down. We still have to raise as much money for our charity as possible, and Ross is still trying to sell this hamster house. And the Lord says that the hamster hotel 
is very much ready to go. Oh, how can we say no, Sash? I can't promise you that there'll be a hamster in it anytime soon, but, you know, we could use it as a bookshop. Have we got a deal? Oh, we've got a deal. We've got a deal! We've got a deal! We've got a deal! Thank God I've sold the hamster hotel. $115 deal. All right, where's the effort? Because I've put myself on the line here. But if I do get fired, what a great way to end your business career. I thought we should have just got, like, a load of cheap garden gnomes and do our other items as well. But, yeah, that was... I thought that's where we should have gone. You as... Uh, against this, his kind of philosophy there, wasn't you? No, we weren't against it. I think Ross is usually on to something. Trouble is, you don't listen to him. You think he's a joker. He's not a joker. Well, he is a joker, that's what he does for his business, but he's not daft either. And you thought he was like uh, a village that had just lost an idiot. Those gnomes could have brought you home. OK, well, look. Veronica's, it's come to that time now where you have to decide which two people you're bringing back in the boardroom. Do you want to have a discussion? Do you want to have a board meeting amongst yourself there? There are two, two opinions we do need to take into account here. Um, I want to go home tonight, yeah? So can you make your mind up? 